It's your girl Erica Banks, and I'm rocking with Text Pause TV. So tap in and tune the fuck in. Dallas, you going out this weekend? Plan on going out anytime soon? I want y'all to be careful. Wear your mask, man. Watch out for COVID. We got over a million cases in the state of Texas. And not only that, man, it's been going down. Don't know if y'all watch Smash the Topic. Shout out to Smash, man. People been dropping every day, not just rappers, everybody, man. And not only that, man, it's up right now. So just stay out the way. That's X to expose TV on IG. We exposing the good, the great, and the ugly. And we don't make the news. We just break the news. R.I.P. Mo 3. I'm not saying he's right or who's wrong, but he did it. He, he did that. I'm just giving you the facts on, on how I know these people and how I know to see them rise to the top. And what, I, what I'm heard about is that when you got a city that nobody respects. You got different types of cities coming in and like Atlanta, New York, California. They come in here and they run our city for a night and they don't check in with nobody. They don't talk to nobody. They come in and run our city. To get three niggas that I touch, it was really supposed to be four because Go Yeah Yo was the first one that was supposed to got the three million dollar deal. But when it went from Go Yeah Yo to Yellow Beezy, to Trap, to, to Mo3, four people from our cities that got great talent that we didn't get a chance to... Well, I heard I heard a record with Trap Boy and um, Mo3. Like I tell y'all, go check out Gangsta Bitch, uh, Mo3 album, uh, the uh, Gangsta Love uh, mixtape. You got four talented guys that could uplift our city up. Nah, I'm not. I'm not saying Fort Worth, Dallas, none of that. I'm saying our city up, which is DF Dub. I'm talking about everybody, uh, all the two Grand Perry, Dallas, work, everybody. You got four talented brothers. There's no way. Just think about it. You got Ti, Jeezy. Should I go further? Gucci man. Should I go further? Talent. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm so fucked up about it. Because all these niggas got talent. And if they could work together, they can blow our city up. And they can bring the next niggas up. And the next niggas up. The next thing you know, Dallas Fort Worth got a record label that we can get behind and be together on. Now we in this situation where we got to pick and choose which side we're going to be on. You know what I'm saying? Not only to pick and choose... If you was an upcoming artist and you wanted to basically have Mo3 and Trap Boy on the album, it wasn't going to happen. Or if you wanted to get Mo3 on the album, now you got to be looking out sideways at people because people felt like, damn, you don't like Trap Boy or Yellow Beezy. It shouldn't be that way when you got so much talent in town. That what hurts me. What hurts me is that I watched Mo3 grow to where he was at, but I watched him as a father to his little boy. And me watching him as a father to his little boy, and he can't can't nobody explain to that little boy that his daddy never gonna see him again. That hurts. That hurts me as a father. But you gotta also gotta understand we all got actions, freedom of choice. It could have been squashed. It, I don't know if it could have been squashed because I'm not from their set, not from their hood. I'm, I don't know. When I talk to Trap Boy Freddy, I want to get a little bit of his attention. And half the time, if it ain't about money, and if, it, if I cross his line, he'll be like, why well, I ain't trying to hear it. When I talk to Mo3, it's more like, what's up? What's up, Mo3? What's up? What you got going? You know what I'm saying? I can't control that. You know what I'm saying? But we got too many yes mans as managers. You have to put a hole on that. Because if you don't put a hole on that, your business can shatter. Just think about number seven. Mo three artists. Number seven, he he what he gonna do? This nigga from the grove and he turned his back on the grove for Mo three. What he gonna do? That's what I don't understand because if we had the four kings that was that was talented. 
If we have them to work together, we build more talent. We bring more assets to us. We bring more record labels to us to get a deal. Everybody I have touched have got a deal, regardless. I don't care who you say it was or what. Majority of the people, when I put my, my sources and everything together, I'm working to get everybody. I'm, I want every black man to be a millionaire. I wouldn't want a nigga to be on the side of the street dead. I'm just, that's just how I feel. Fat dad, you're right. Could have been squashed a long time ago, but it's just that them niggas, once the guns go up, it's kind of hard to squash a nigga when the nigga shot at you. But what I said, Tom would heal himself, it wouldn't allow time to heal himself because niggas was, it was up. When that nigga told me why I heard it's up, I have to respect that because they ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? When it's up, it's up. Fort Worth feel like, shit, we RIP to half. They lost, we lost half because of Mo 3 came and and, and 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 all of a sudden that ended. I didn't understand how Mo 3 and Go Yeah got into it. Cause when I went to <laughs> true story, in the process before I talked to Trap, I went to the Rose album release party and Go Yayo yeah, Yo, and Mo3 was there. And I'm going to tell you one thing, and only a Fort Worth and a Dallas nigga know this. When you in Fort Worth and you a Dallas nigga and you hang around Fort Worth niggas and you see a nigga that you kind of beefing with from Fort Worth, or uh, y'all ain't talking like that, the nigga feels some type of way. And that's the same way when you in Dallas and Fort Worth niggas Dallas, you're going to be like, yeah, he didn't shake my hand or nothing. When he seen Go Yayo, yeah, Yo, Go yeah, he went over there with Go yeah, Yo, like, yeah, I'm with your Fort Worth nigga. And I, I respect him. That's why when he went to Flash and I had to tell him, now you in my hood, what's going on? And we talk like men. So I know Mo3 would talk to somebody like men, but I feel like, and I'm for the end it. I feel like at the time when Trap Boy showed him the hood, when Trap Boy had Oak Cliff behind Mo3, I guess Trap Boy was more like little brother to big brother to a point where like, nigga, I could take the hood from you. He really didn't understand that he could and he did. So that's why he was comfortable for where he was at. But you can't play with niggas in a territory. There's no way if there's no way I'm messing with a broad from a territory. From, you can't get one crip to go in a blood set hood and mess with a girl. You can't. You can't get one blood to go in a crip neighborhood and think they okay. You can't. Because when, cause when it happens, it's going to happen. You just have to be prepared. I just feel like we lost a talented guy. And a lot of people are like, man, that nigga didn't have no gun. That nigga rap about not having a gun. Yeah, I don't know if he had a gun or not. But I feel like this. You know, every rapper shouldn't have to feel like they have to tell the truth in their story. Because really, they storytellers. If we can deal with Slick Rick and them being storytellers and they got New York on top, then, then you, you, you can't put gangster rap and say, okay, I'm going to tell the truth in all my raps when you're a criminal. You got to understand, gangster is gangster shit. Rap, I just feel like, you know, everybody saying trap boy telling on himself. You know, I just feel like we're losing a lot of people. That's hot and talented, and it's getting worse. It's not. This is did we we're gonna be talking about another couple of rappers in a, in a little bit with the same scenario. That's what we're gonna be dealing with until we get enough management or enough people that's always talking about they cool with these people or seeing them in a video and ain't helping. We need help. We need leadership. Not just only Dallas Fort Worth. Everybody need leadership. And one point that's killing us all is social media. Everybody got people going live saying negative shit and they doing it because they got people that don't care or don't understand stuff that they ain't going to do it. 
and got your head brought too big to a point where you don't realize reality. And that's just the bottom line. RIP to half, RIP to Raw Lee, RIP to Mo3. How many times I'm going to have to keep saying this with all this talent? We lost, we lost talent, bro. We losing our city to less leadership. And the main people that be on here talking about the crazy shit is the niggas ain't got nothing going for themselves to try to tell a nigga, man, how I do this, how I do that. They always got something negative. Bad, and yes, you right, social media is bad energy. And the energy that you build in that social media is going to come back to hunt you. Now, I'm not saying that it ain't about no OG standing up because at some point in time, these DJs can't even have, I mean, not the, I, mean, I said DJ, but these OGs, you can't stand up for these people because they don't want to hear it. It's the bloggers. It, it ain't, see, some of these bloggers don't understand good news and bad news. Yeah, my bad, RIP to see, uh, see struggles, but the reason why I didn't say see struggles, see struggles didn't die from a gunshot or anything like that. You feel what I'm saying? That's the reason why I didn't see the rest of the people, the, the great ones that, that lost their life. I'm talking about People that got talent that died just over stupid shit. The bloggers, yeah, but the bloggers are only getting attention. You know, there's a lot of stuff bloggers do that helps too. But at this point in time, when it's too much bad energy and you know it's bad, yeah, some of these bloggers need to chill out. But the bloggers ain't going to stop because people going to keep clicking on it. Hey, man, we lost a lot of people to dumb shit. And we need to just tighten up. But... If you mad at Trap Boy for what happened and you laughed at Trap Boy when he was in the hospital and Mo3 was talking about him, then it's kind of hard for you to say. It's kind of hard for you to say. Or pick a side, man, because both of the shit was wrong. Just because it was wrong don't mean it was right. Y'all be safe out there, man. It's corona getting higher. And no leadership is telling us what to do. And they ain't going to help. But, you know, I, I, I always pray for our city. And I want our city to be better. But we're going to go through some hard times because we have less leadership. Everybody want to be the, the nigga. You feel what I'm saying? And you got to understand, you can't get a blessing with an ego. Mm -mm. I, tell them boys they better pray Tell them boys stay out the way Tell them ain't nobody safe On my mama, on my gang We gon' put it in their face Yeah Niggas know we stabbing names God know I'm stabbing now And light Until it hurts it ain't no that's just how we made You heard that church up in my verses Cause that's how I raise I told God he gotta forgive me I'm insane, no Get down on my knees when I'm in pain, no Tired of the rain on my knees Who oh, Jesus, please Can you feel my knees, eh? Tired of fucking up I'm in the streets, eh? Tryna take away this hurt inside me God, I need a second chance Knowing that I love you But sometimes I do the devil dance